So we just arrived in Cancun and the weather is not at all what we were expecting. It's literally wet. Wet and cold and miserable. It's not cold, but it's, it's a bit cold, miserable. Yeah. It's a bit grey. It's been raining all day today. Apparently the first day in a long time. So we've just our luck. Wow, I'm sure it's going to brighten up soon. We found driving around the west coast of Mexico super easy. Well. Ben did the driving so it was really easy for me to sit in the front seat but it, it meant we could be really flexible and because it was so easy to drive in Mexico we decided to hire a car in Cancun as well so that we could explore the Yucatan Peninsula and Quintana Roo. The first stop was Puerto Morelos. We're in Puerto Morelos and we're about to jump in this beautiful sea. Just check out the blue water right now, it's beautiful. Oh it's nice and warm Minnie. It's not even cold. And we're gonna go check out our first cenote. So we've driven down some bumpy road for about half an hour and it was crazy. I've got a bit of a headache from it, doing left to right, up and down, uh, and we're gonna go check it out. So if you guys don't know what a cenote is, uh, <laughs> my wife knows the technical term of it. So how do you explain a, a cenote? The limestone bedrock has basically caved in, so it creates a big sinkhole. Mm, and check her out. <laughs> and exposes groundwater and there we go we have a natural cenote which the Mayan people used to do like religious ceremonies in because I thought it was really like special which it probably is um, and we're just going to go basically take a dip in it. Professor! <laughs> Here goes! I wanted to show the kids what I proposed to Xylene 10 years ago in Cancun. We got into the car and headed down to Cancun. As I'm by the lights, a motorcycle pulls up next to me and it's a policeman and he's like, wind down, wind down, wind down. And in like, Spanish. In Spanish, yeah. So I, I, I wound my window down and I looked at him and he was like, yeah, yeah, just follow me, pull over, pull over. And I'm like, oh, I'm in trouble. What have we done? I'm like, everywhere I go, I just attract trouble. <laughs> so I pulled over about two or three minutes later and basically he got out a pad and he was going to give me a ticket and the ticket was for going through the amber light. And I'm like, oh, I didn't really notice, I'm so sorry, da 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 da. And he pulls out some like highway code thing, he's like, no, look at 3.5 on the book. And it's it all says, in Spanish as well. No, Espanol, ella, ella. And I'm like, I don't speak Spanish, I'm so, so sorry. Um, but anyway, the gist was, he was about to write me a $100 ticket. Hundred dollars, and we were going to leave to go to Tulum the next day. Like yeah, early in the morning. we didn't have time to go to so the police station. No time for police station. No time for tickets. No time for fines. Um, so we begged and pleaded. Look, I'm really sorry. I think he do was it so again. nice. Really, really he was like, nice, it's okay, I, I just give you a ticket. We're like, no, no, we don't want to pay hundred dollars, please. <laughs> Look at the children. <laughs> so very lucky, Zach came out of the car with our ice cream in his hand, he's crying, it's all over his hand. It really, really helped our <laughs> cause. So um, he looked at Zach, looked at me, looked at his pad, looked at Zach again and was like, oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. So yeah, he let us go in the end. He was quite Thank lucky, um, but it was a bit of a crazy time. So basically, the gist of that story is if you're ever in Mexico and Never. the amber light flashes, stop. Never jump it. Aldo. Bang, Aldo, <laughs> straight away. After our short stay in the lovely Airbnb in Puerto Morelos, a cute little fishing town, we decided to drive off to Tulum to see the ruins and we stopped at Cenote Azul on the way. 
Alright, so we are at the edge at Sonote Abdul. I'm um, about to take a little jump into the water. This is the edge. And Emiliana, five years old, a snow tear zoo in Mexico, yeah. is just about to take a nice big jump. You ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Come on in, girl. One, two, three, go! Whoa! <laughs> Amazing! Was it good? You're so good, Minnie. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming right for you, okay? Here we go, the Hewin Spare Test live in Tulum, Axe Can Hotel. Emiliana, are you ready? Zaki, what would you give it? Five? One, two, three, four, five. One and two, mommy. One and two. Oh. So this is an afternoon in the life of the flip flop family. I'm sitting here planning our next trip, which is to Guatemala. Ben is learning some more tunes on his ukulele via YouTube, of course. Zaki is finding bugs. What bugs did you find, Zach? Two. Two? Yeah. And our water baby is in the water. It's very amusing. Uh, uh, there it is. There's a little modem on the top of a pole with a wire, and then a little bench area and the Wi-Fi sign. Of course, even at the ruins, you can get Wi-Fi. Yeah. Oh, through the little narrow passages. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, you can see the ruins at the back there. Gracias. Oh, wow. Lovely. Very hot. So apparently this site um, had about 1,600 Mayans at one time. So they said it wasn't really like um, an actual whole population, but more of like a religious place where people would come and live. Something like being, you know, in Cairo, and all the massive pyramids, like kind of touching them, they're really strong and kind of sturdy, and just kind of thinking how they got this is just amazing. Uh, yeah, it's phenomenal, it really is. And we took a short drive over to another ruins called Chichen Itza, which I was looking forward to because it's got my favourite monument that I've read about for such a long time called El Castillo. So we're on our way from uh, Tulum to Chichen Itza and we've been driving for about an hour and a half and we've just reached Valladolid. Ben's driving down these narrow streets. Kids are about to snooze and now they're awake. So we just got to um, Chichen Itza. We have a pink house. Our room number is 29. And um, quite basic. Just the night before we head back to Cancun. And here's our monkeys. And the big monkey. Here we are, Chichen Itza. We've come to do the humans betters. Here we are. We've come to do the huge Three, two, one. Woo! Never. 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 Oh. Luckily for us, across the road from our Hotel Dolores is Cenote Ikil. So we picked up our tickets from there 
for a little five peso discount. They're 80 pesos, as you can see. We got them for 75, and you know I love a good deal. Daddy, are you ready to hit up our third cenote of Mexico? Oh yeah, lovely guns. Very much set up like a bit of a theme park with restaurants and gift shops. And I think this whole barrier around the cenote it kill. There we go. It will be um, good weather and we can really take in Chichen Itza. Ben's got a little guide. Yeah, I've got this little app on, online for like 67 feet, <laughs> so hopefully it's going to be alright, but um, it does look like it's pretty good. We'll let you know. <laughs> Mini, louder, louder. Oh, wow. I got it, I got it, Mini, on camera. Well done. So after seeing the amazing ruins of Chichen Itza, we drove back to Cancun for one night before boarding our plane to Guatemala. 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 You want to go to Guatemala? You want to go to Guatemala? At Cancun Airport, um, I'd like to leave Cancun. Well, we're going to check in. Hopefully our bags aren't too heavy. They always are too heavy, annoyingly, um, but hopefully they won't be. And we're going to take our flight to Guatemala, which will be our third country on our trip. Guatemala, baby. We'll probably have to get more in the lounge, which is a bit more relaxed, and I'm eating it just in between. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. It's been a pleasure, and we'll come back soon, I promise you. Um, thank you for having us. Thank Bye -bye. you. Adios, Mexico. Even Cancun was a bit stressful. We were at the airport. Um, our bags we thought were overweight, which weren't, which was good. Yes. But then, as we're about to check in, the lady goes to us, have you got your immigration cards? And we're like, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So we've opened up our passports. No, it's not in there. Uh, okay, cool. So if you just want to go around the corner, you can go and get some, uh, I think, four more over there. Okay, fine, no problem. So we've walked over there. Got in the office, the lady's like, okay, so it's gonna cost you like 20, 30 dollars each. Yeah. Again, money that can't be spent on stupidness. No, right? like 120 dollars so, or something. Yeah, like so we're like, oh no. Um, but it didn't so help because she told filled, me it was a green card. So yeah. I was picturing a green I was like, I don't remember getting a green card. Mm. And she also wasn't very nice as well. No. Bit of a stern face on her. But anyway, so we've got to fill out four forms. 
start filling them out, and then Zaylin over here, the hero, finds our immigration form. Because I keep everything. Thank God for that. So if you ever come to where is it, Cancun? Yeah. Come to Cancun. Any, anywhere in Mexico. And you fill out any form. Just keep, keep any it. form that keep you fill it. out in Mexico. Just keep. Just keep. Well, the really fun. It might come back to bite you in the butt. Well, the really funny thing is the reason why I kept it is because of you. Because when we arrived um, in, I think it was in Cabo, it was the first place we got into in Mexico, we had to go to these electronic boxes and fill this, uh, do the immigration that way. And they took a photo of you. And Ben was taking the mickey out of me because I had such a bad picture in it <laughs> on the thing. He was like, what is that? Oh, I've got to and show so you it was guys. the ongoing joke how that was going to be the immigration face. It was. It was literally. <laughs> <laughs> it was really bad. And it was literally like like this. Basically, that is why I kept it because I was about to throw it away, and then I was like, "This is so funny that I'm going to keep it and maybe like stick it in an anniversary card or something for Ben." <laughs> so that's why I kept them, and luckily <laughs> it saved us $120. After three amazing weeks in Mexico, we finally left to head off to our third country, which is Guatemala. Please make sure you do check our channel again, The Flip Flop Family, if you'd like to know what we got up to, what volcanoes we saw, what fun tuk-tuk rides we had, and a lot more. Please, and don't forget, if you like what you see, subscribe on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. Um, just go to Google and type in The Flip Flop Family. Also check out our site, theflipflopfamily.net. And don't forget, like, share, poke, be a part of the adventure, be a part of the magic, yeah? Thanks. For now, The Flip Flop Family are signing out.